Hey, you're now in the den with Dr. Jen, a safe and comfortable place to explore female sexuality from a variety of perspectives and start thinking about sexuality outside the box. Got a new box today. Squirt much? Den chat topic, female ejaculation. Have you experienced this? If you have and didn't expect it or didn't know anything about it, it might have been quite a shock for you. There's actually a noted history of references to this but it was only in the 1980s that this became a bigger topic of controversy. So what exactly is this thing that some women experience? I'm going to address some of the common questions around it. First of all, what is it? Female ejaculation refers to the expulsion of a generally clear fluid, usually at or near orgasm. It's generally accomplished through stimulation of the G-spot, which is the urethral sponge on the frontal vaginal wall. Now, there's controversy as to where the fluid originates and whether all females have the potential to do so. So there's still a large void regarding solid scientific information about this. Even so, there's a few things we can still answer. Where is it expelled from? I think there's a common misconception around this, that female ejaculate comes out through the vagina. Now, if you notice a gush of fluids connected to sexual arousal, this is likely your natural vaginal lubrications. But actual female ejaculate exits the body through the urethra, similar to men in this case. Now, some researchers believe it's from the Skene's gland. Some call it the female prostate, since it's developed from the same embryonic tissue. Now, one potential reason why only some women are capable of this is because the Skene's glands can have varying aspects to their anatomy in different women and potentially may be missing altogether. What is it made of? These studies vary also, but in general, the fluid has been found to contain glucose, which is a natural sugar, and fructose, another natural sugar, prostate-specific antigen, the male fluid that makes up the base of male ejaculate, and very low levels of creatinine and urea, which is part of urine. So while it's sometimes thought to be urine, it's clearly not. And the last question, do you have to orgasm to be able to have female ejaculate? No, not necessarily. Ejaculation can occur with an orgasm or without one. So I hope this has cleared up some misconceptions around this issue. Sexual fun fact number 97. What is the G shot? It is an injection of a human engineered collagen into the G spot area. This is performed by a doctor with the intent to increase the size of the G spot and therefore make it easier to stimulate and presumably increase pleasure. It's not an FDA approved use of collagen. Uh, lasts for about four months, and results do vary. It's a Hollywood phenomenon for now. You know, you could do that, or you could just read a book about it, explore with your fingers, and just get comfortable and in touch with your own body the old-fashioned way. <laughs> and uh, this sexual fun fact is compliments of my mom. Thanks, Carol. The Den Recommend. Now I've talked about how to find your G-spot in past sessions of In the Den with Dr. Jen. So the recommendation here goes a bit deeper if you're intrigued by this topic of female ejaculation. Now there's lots of helpful books out there and other information, but I found a really great website that was very thorough, well-written, and open-minded. And it's free. It's called Female Ejaculation, The Female Prostate, and The G-Spot at this web address. I think it will answer any more questions you might have about this topic and many that you probably didn't even think to ask. Remember in session 27 where I introduced a new den section called, what's that word? Yeah, we're doing that again this show. So the word is
Calisemeral. What's that word? Calisemeral. Is a term for the condition of having beautiful thighs. Yes, we should all embrace our calisemeral thighs. Are you just gushing with excitement now? Well, if you have any questions or comments about female ejaculation, visit me at drjensden.com or email me at jennifer at drjensden.com. So squirt with pride and be kind to yourself. Where were my hands? Uh, Probably like that. Yeah. Just grasp your box. <laughs> <laughs>